Welcome back to NPR, Profiles of Urban Entrepreneurs, where we spotlight today's most creative and innovative big business players and money makers. In a moment, we'll deliver you the necessary tools to make the right impact at a job interview in this inclement economic climate, courtesy of public relations veteran Angelo Ellerby. Then, we'll attend a music video casting call with Ms. Lashana Stanley, the head of Ethnicity Model Management and Promotion, who is actively changing the beauty standard worldwide. But first, it's time to grab a tasty bite with Snap Foods magnate James Lindsay. Fifteen years ago, James became a millionaire off the strength of his company, Rap Snacks, when he locked down an appetizing marketing deal with Universal Records. I mean, I was a big snack food eater when I was younger. I considered myself a snack food connoisseur. I used to put 10 bags of 25 cent bags of potato chips into one bag, and I knew um, that I can tell which flavor was the best flavor in the marketplace. Um, but I never considered in my wildest dreams that I would make millions of dollars selling 25 cent bags of potato chips. I am James Lindsay, President and CEO of Rap Snacks Potato Chips and Soulful Foods and Mr. G Potato Chips. Rap Snacks is the brand of snack foods that I uh, developed about 15 years ago and it consists of uh, potato chips, popcorn and cheese curls. We have different artists on our bags. The Mr. G product is a brand that's a local brand of snack foods which it was really known for its hot potato chips, uh, which I bought about, uh, I would say, about seven years ago. And these are the same chips I, eat, I grew up on, and I ended up buying uh, the brand. The next brand um, is called Soulful Foods. And what I, I, I created the company Soulful Foods to do is to partner with brands I think that I can help benefit from my experience in the marketplace. As president and CEO of Rap Snacks and Mr. G Soulful Foods, my number one responsibility is making sure that I provide my consumer with a quality product. Today I'm in Bristol, Virginia, where we make the uh, Rap Snacks and the Mr. G product. And today I'm going to walk you through the process of how we make this product. So if you ain't wearing one of these, you ain't official. First, we start out with the storing of the potatoes. We have at least five bins that we store potatoes in on a daily basis. Each bin stores about 50,000 pounds of potatoes. The next process is the wrenching process, which we want to make sure this product is clean enough so we can cook this product and go into the Wrap Snacks bag. After that, we would go and do the peeling process. The peeling process is a great process because it makes sure that there's no skin on the potatoes. The next process is the slicing process. And the slicing of it is making sure that that potato is sliced thin enough where we can fry it and it can become a very, very crispy product. Then it goes into what I think is the best process, and that's the cooking process. Because when they come out of this process, they're ready for action. After that, it goes through the seasoning process where it actually goes up to a conveyor belt and it actually goes through a seasoner, which on every second, the seasoning uh, process goes into uh, on top of the chip. And from there, the chip goes into a bag. And these machines actually bag 100 bags per minute. And from there, they're boxed up and they're shipped out to a store near you. None of these brands would have been possible without uh, me starting Rap Snacks. I started Rap Snacks 15 years ago. I uh, was actually in the sales uh, working for a consumer hair care company. Uh, I, I gained a lot of experience in that marketplace and I looked at the snack food uh, market and I said to myself, that's a great opportunity to provide a consumer with something that's actually fun. And no one believed me. I talked to uh, a lot of my family members and um, they were very supportive, but I don't think anybody knew how big Rap Snacks would become. Started out with about $600,000 in sales the first year and after the third year, we were doing about $3 million in business. After we approached Universal, about uh, two years later, the product jumped to about $5 million a year in business. I think it's very important for me to give back for, uh, to the community what I've learned over the years of me developing brands. And that's why I partnered with uh, Sylvia's. Sylvia's is a restaurant in Harlem. Uh, where they've been in business and serving the community over 40 years. And I felt like it only made sense to help her develop her brand. This is the uh, lemon pepper. 
Yes. You know? Um, Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Nice picture, huh? I think it's very important to not only sell product and make money, but also I think it's very important to help the next guy behind me that has that great idea. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is to have, add more distribution to our market. To sample one of Jane's tasty snacks, be sure to grab your bag of Sylvia's Kettle Chips available at your local Sam's Club. Next up, celebrity publicist and CEO of Double Exposure Public Relations, Angelo Ellerby, provides some very necessary tips on making a lasting first impression when interviewing for a job or meeting with a potential client. And Lashana Stanley, founder of Miami-based ethnicity model management and promotions firm, dispels the all-too-prevalent myth of the video chick. Keep it locked to money, power, respect.